So we are reading At the Dark End of the Street, Black Women, Rape and Resistance, A New History of the Civil Rights Movement from Rosa Parks to the Rise of Black Power by Danielle McGuire. And our sessions are, it started June 3rd and they last until July 29th. They are from 6.30 to 8. Betty Jean Owens faces her attackers in court, June 12, 1959. At least 400 people witnessed Betty Jean Owens face her attackers in court on June 12, 1959, including hundreds of white people. She testified to the sordid details of her gang rape that lasted two to three hours, as well as the physical injuries she sustained and depression she experienced as a result. Defense attorneys attempted to prove she consented or that she enjoyed the rape. She showed signs of anger when Williams repeatedly asked if she was a virgin, attempting to characterize her as a stereotypical black Jezebel. Owens retained her composure, refused to answer questions about her chastity, and resisted efforts to shame her. Are you going to leave this nigger week over these four boys, screamed defense attorneys Howard Williams to the jury during his summation. Betty Jean Owens didn't have a chance in the world, County Prosecutor William Hopkins, with four big boys, a loaded gun, and a knife. After three hours of deliberation, the jury foreman, local plantation owner, A.H. King, announced the verdict, guilty with a recommendation for mercy. Mercy meant these white men would not have to face the electric chair and made it inescapably clear that the death penalty for rape is only for colored men accused by white women, as the Baltimore Afro-American put it. On June 21st, they were sentenced to life in prison. Let's just look at the first question. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of sick bastard does someone enjoy being raped? Wow, don't we hear that all the time in these cases? Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Oh, I don't know.